it's time to make our annual how to plant a seed book listen to a story called from seed to plant by gail gibbons and then plant our own seeds so let's get started by getting these supplies out of your envelope you're going to need these six pieces of paper this is the front cover and this is going to be the back cover these are going to be your pages and for those of you who have siblings that have gone through branch before you know maybe a little bit about how we make this book we're going to be cutting these pages out putting them in the correct sequence and then folding them to fit inside this cover and then out of the cover is going to grow a little stem and a flower so i'll give you a few minutes to do that and while you're doing that another thing that we will need later is some soil in a small pot or a little cup will do fine you can get a plastic cup from your kitchen and we're going to be planting the little rye grass seed pack so go ahead and get that while you're gathering supplies okay boys and girls this is our story for today it's called from seed to plant by gail gibbons and we have a link to send you to on youtube that is attached below so let's do that together and when you're done with the story we'll continue on with our activity go ahead and hit the link now then you can come back and we'll see you then let's begin by cutting out these little mini pages i've heard that a lot of you all are making books which makes us happy but you can be your own author and illustrator oh good job with that thumbs up i see i didn't even have to remind you this time good job okay and then turn we're going to do all the outside lines first so that we can get rid of this um, bigger part of the paper. All the way down. So it's, it's a rectangle, two long sides and two short sides. Great job. Okay, I think it's probably easiest to do this one long line first before these these could be two shorter lines if we get these two separated. So let's open and close so carefully not to cut into these pages of your real book. Okay, now you can turn it. One, two, three. One, two, three. This has been a fun little planting book that we have done for many years. It's great for this time of year. You may have been even doing some planting around your house during this break. So we'll get back to our pages in a minute to finish cutting. Let's see if we can get our scissors out of the way. We're gonna go ahead and cut our front cover, the little pot, little flower pot into the shape of the pot to be the cover. I've seen some books that are the shape of what they are about on the inside, or at least have something to cue us on the cover as to what the book is going to be about. And this will be cute because we're going to actually add that flower to the cover when we're done. But first we're going to glue down the background of these pages open and shut. You know it's the back cover. The words are there, plus there's no title on this section. Good job on your cutting. I'm so glad you guys are getting some extra practice. Okay, so now we always read from the left to right, and so we want our front cover to get glued down to this end of our book. Okay, so get out your glue. 
And so we always read left to right. And so we're gonna glue the cover to our book down to this part of the strip so that we can start our sequencing going in this direction before we fold it up into the book. So we're gonna get our glue and put it on this end. Make sure you get it back on tight. Awesome. Okay. I think we'll add our back cover at the end and get started on sequencing your pages. <clears throat> so first, you need soil in order to plant your seed. We are gonna be scooping dirt. You can either scoop your dirt with your cup or you can put it in with a little gardening shovel. So first we're going to scoop, scoop. Okay, so now we have the dirt. Then you're going to poke a hole into the dirt. So it marks, it's kind of like the X marks the spot of where your seed is going to go. Poke. So these are some good words to be reading. Scoop, poke. You can also write some yourself later. You can make a journal entry writing some of these gardening words now that you know how they're spelled. So we're going to scoop the dirt, we're going to poke the dirt, and then let's see what this says. D, er, ah. Good. Drop. You're going to drop the seed in. Leave some space because we're going to be folding the pages. We're in this strip. We're going to fold the band. Okay, so now you've dropped the seed in, but we need to what? Cover. We're going to cover it up. The seed like you tuck it night night into the soil <clears throat> so here goes cover cover then what do we think we're down to the last ones do you think we need to pat the dirt now that you've covered it and then water the seed area I think so too pat Gently patting them down. Then, very important at the end, water. They need, plants need sunlight and water to grow. Some need it in different amounts. Some need a lot of water. Some need a lot of sun. Some need not very much sun or it's too much for them to grow. You can retack down. <clears throat> Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take it from the top and we're gonna fold it. And then we're gonna close it. So they kind of go together like this, the little pages. And then you fold back, kind of like when you all make your little fans and we do the accordion fold. Okay, and if you need to put a little more glue on your pages, go ahead. Now, it's like they're giving each other a little tap there, hug, and then fold your paper. Nice crease. And feel free to get that helper at your house to help you with this, but I bet most of you can do this. Just don't give up. Now, put those pat and water go together all the way down. So you're gonna fold that. And now this last bit of brown you're gonna fold back even to your other pages. So now you just have this little bit and what do you think is gonna go there? You are correct, your back cover, like this. And you see how you don't need glue over the whole thing because you don't wanna glue it down to but just this one part. So only on this one side, get some good glue so it's gonna hold it tight. If you would like to write the words, the end, we can get to that in a minute. But now you have your book, How to Plant a Seed. 
and you can, wow, open it up. Lovely. And for a little extra detail, because we love the details. So we're gonna have you decorate your flower. You can do decorate it however you want, but at the, at the minimum, I would draw a little circle in the center. And lots of times, like even when we talked about sunflowers, we talked about all the little parts that are in the center. And you can change up your color. The orange doesn't show up some of the colors as well. But that's okay, because you can still get some contrast. You can really even do it all one color if you want to. But since we're talking about seeds and we've been talking about making designs, adding details, it's a fun one for you to do. And then if you want to add some little stripes on the petals, since we've been practicing our lines, feel free. There's not one flower that's exactly like another. They're the same kinds, but they're each unique. They grow from their seeds. Now this is a little bit of a trick, a little more tricky to cut. So we suggest that you meet in the middle. Um, in the in the V shape. So you can go to the corner and stop and then meet in the corner and stop. It's probably the easiest way. Some of you will be able to guide your hand around and get to your corner and then turn and go back, straight back. Just don't don't be worried about that. And if you need to get this excess paper off, if it's in your way, this part, remember what we do? Just cut it off. You don't need it. So get back to your point, and you can come back to your point again. Whatever way you like the best, you're the one getting to cut out. It's going to be your project, and you can be so proud of it when you're done. Open and close. You're almost there. One more crevice. Turn. And back around. There you go, a little flower to add to the cover of your book. So get the glue once more. You're gonna have just a little bit because you want some of your stem to show. So you don't wanna put the whole thing into the book. You just wanna gently attach it, give it a nice push down, try to get it about in the center. There you go. And then a little glue the top. There you go. How to plant a seed. Scoop, poke, drop, cover, pat, and water. And then if you would like to, I'm gonna use black just because that's what the title is in. You can write yourself, all by yourself. You can write the T H E end E. Timber down and back up, pull down the shade in a big curve, and the end. A new book for your house by you. If you want to put your name right up in the top part, feel free to do so. Great work.